a omega m so m is mutual inductance and it is caused in 2 due to 1 so we are using the current of uh, 1 so this is how we will uh, add up these two inductances so if we check the previous slide in it so v1 uh, is equal to uh, r1 i1 ldi1 and l2 i1 minus i2 so here if we see uh, there is one thing missing and that thing is the self inductance that is being dropped in this L2 so L2 is here uh, here, and in this L2 I2 is going so minus uh, I2 J omega L2 the self inductance of L2 is also uh, should be here so we are having uh, this R1 I1 L1 D1 and then L2 I1 and L2 I2 so L2 I1 was added to this one in our method as I1 into R plus uh, J omega L1 plus J omega L2 and then uh, this I2 was written separately as minus I2 into J omega L2 and after that uh, mutual inductance in this due to currents in this so there were two currents in it I2 minus I1 so I2 minus I1 was written in here and then the mutual inductance in 2 due to 1 was written in here so we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 terms so let's check it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, sorry, let me check it again, it will be 7 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 terms in here and in here, so we are good to go. Now, uh, this was, uh, as I told, this was a bit complex, so uh, you should uh, just have, you might have an idea of how we will uh, calculate this mutual inductance. Uh, uh, let's uh, calculate the second loop's uh, equation for it. So in second loop there is no rises, so 0 would be equal to 0 would be equal to now, let me write it in some other color. So 0 is equal to, now I2 is our positive current, so I2 R1 plus J omega uh, L2 is here and another voltage will drop in this one due to current in one so minus i1 into j omega l2 so this is the self inductance now talking about mutual inductance so in i2 there uh, the current is uh, i2 minus i1 so we can write it as uh, i i2 is entering so I2 minus I1 into D by DT of M. So uh, not uh, I2 minus I1, we will write I1 here because uh, there is a voltage produced in 2 due to 1. So we are using this one. So things have become easier. So uh, the 2's equation is something like this. So now uh, if we check this thing, so this is uh, same as ours, uh, R2I2 and uh, L2, I2 minus I1 and MI1. So there is M di1 by dt and we had this uh, M and uh, D of I1 by dt. Okay, so this was this, uh, this one. Okay. And similarly, I2R and I2, D by DT, I2 and L2. So, I2R and D by DT, I2 this. And D by DT, L2, I1. This is D by DT, L2 and I1. So, our method is a bit easier than this one. So, just uh, use this method. Okay.
this was a hard example let me tell you again uh, our examples that we should study should be a bit easier than this one. okay now more about this dot convention uh, let's uh, just uh, call our dot uh, convention if current is entering and current is entering we will have positive signs with m if current is uh, entering and current is entering but this sign is negative so i don't know what this problem is trying to say let's just make it positive okay then we would have a positive with it if it is entering and it is leaving then it would be a negative sign so this is the dot convention use your own uh, direction of current and always choose a direction in which this source and this current has same direction so you will not have to write these minus signs with it okay uh, this is uh, another uh, explanation of this uh, v1 and v2 in this explanation uh, we convert this uh, example to our base case so we had uh, i1 in this direction but now it is in this direction i2 was in this direction but now it is in this direction because this thing is reversed so due to this reverse a phenomena since our voltage is reversed so we are writing minus with it so we are using the same base phenomena but uh, we are trying to use our previous equation for this new system so system is to be compared with the previous one so previous one was v1 l1 d by dt and v2 uh, m i2 by dt uh, so here the current is in opposite direction so we are using minus sign with and minus sign so there is nothing special about it you just have to use loops and this all thing will turn up a, a bit turn out easy now here is another learning example we are having uh, two coils and we want to connect it with different scenarios in the first case we are directly connecting it uh, and assuming that these dots are having the input current so here this current goes like this so we will have a positive sign with m but uh, if we had some connection like this one so in this case the current is this so what are we doing the current is leaving this second node and entering this first node okay so we will have a minus sign with it so this uh, must be uh, generalized for a leaving or entering it should be negative and for entering entering or leaving leaving it should be positive okay so this is it for this uh, circuit so now you can easily solve circuits with uh, these uh, pro uh, example problems okay so you just go through it and let me know whatever is uh, necessary uh, we will solve some easy and then some moderate and some uh, hard example in our next lecture so till then bye thank you